Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. If this is your very first time to this channel, run on that subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now, now that you're part of the Lips family, there's something that I need for you to do. That thing is comment, 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 like, share, and go for the team. Comment, like, share, and go for the team. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, you guys, we're going to pray, and we're going to get into the food. Amen. You guys, I'm not alone today. You know I'm not alone. Guess who came with me? Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help me out because I'm fixing to get down. Okay, let's see if he's actually refreshing. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today we have some prawns. Yes, we do. Y'all, we have prawns, baby. We have prawns. We also have homemade, these are Parmesan crusted meatballs. They're good. Pork meatballs, Parmesan crusted. We've got the jalapenos back here. I have some yummy cucumbers and this right here, you guys, we have some cutie Q sauce. Cutie Q sauce. Y'all, let's get into it, okay? Okay, I don't know where to start, y'all. Mmm. So how y'all doing today? Mmm. You hear one of the meatballs? So that Parmesan on the outside of it. Parmesan. Let's see. Mmm, 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 <laughs> that kiwi goes out, it's good. And inside of these pork meatballs, we've got onions, green peppers, jalapenos, baby they're good. Y'all yeah, also got some little baby shrimp over here. Mmm. Well, we've been trying this cutie goose sauce. Ah. Y'all want to bite with the cutie goose sauce on it? There you go. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The cutie goose sauce. Mm. I put some habaneros, jalapenos, and some serrano peppers in the food processor and grind it up to add to it. For my heat level, mmm, and it's good. Mmm, mmm. That's good. Y'all want the baby shrimp? 
Baby! Mmm. So, y'all, we just got through doing our Friday Night Live. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, that shrimp is good. Mmm. So I hope that you were there doing our Friday Night Live. Y'all, it was crunk again. <laughs> it was crunk again. It was. These cucumbers are yummy. Mmm. Mm. Now let's try with these big boys. Do y'all see how big that shrimp is? Do you see it? You see how big that shrimp is, baby? Baby, we finna get it. Ooh, wee. Ooh. Mmm. -hmm. Do y'all see with this cutie cute sauce on it? Now let's see. You guys, this is my first time ever trying prawns. I've never had a prawn in my life. But I'm finna eat one now. Mmm. 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 You gotta just do it. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, what's going on with our bowl here, y'all? It looks like it's cricket. It'll be all right. Mmm. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Baby, I wish that you could taste this with this cutie goo sauce on it, baby. Can you see that? Can you see it? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, it's so big. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's real good. Mmm. Mmm. So if you went in the Friday Night Live, Friday night, you won't get to see it this time. I shut it down. I cannot leave it up. I shut it down this time, y'all. Another one of the balls. Y'all, I said another one of the balls. <laughs> another meatball. Y'all, this is my first time trying the cutie cute sauce too. Mmm. 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 It's magnificent too. That cutie cute sauce is good. It's really good. So how did y'all like the collab that we released yesterday with Big Mac and Lil Gimmo Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is one of the smaller ones that look how big it is. Baby. Y'all have never had a prime before, but it is so good. Y'all is so good. This is all shrimp. All of it. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all look at that. Camera don't be hating, don't be hating. Y'all need that camera be hating. Mmm. Y'all, this cutie cute sauce is good. It's really good. Mmm. 
Mm. Well, like I said, I had to add habaneros, serranos, and jalapenos to it to get it to my heat level. But it is delicious. The cutie you sauce. I went over there and got the recipe and made it exactly like they said make it. And y'all, it's good. It is really, really good. It's mayonnaise based. Mmm. -hmm. It's good. And these big prawns. Shout out to Sam's World. Mm -mm -mm. I have never tasted such a good shrimp in my life. Mm. It's so big. It's so big. And it tastes like shrimp shrimp. Well, I guess I should say, I don't know. That's the only way I know how to say it. It ain't watered down, you know, so to speak. It tastes like good shrimp, y'all. Like shrimp. It's fresh. Mmm. Y'all, it's good. Y'all, let me tell you what happened to me today. Mm. So I went to the nail shop. I was so tired because I had been up. Excuse me. I had been up the Oh, excuse me. I had been up the night before. All night long. Trying to get the video ready. I don't think I laid down until like 5.15 in the morning. So... I went to the nail shop, and when I got there, there was only two people there. They were just opening. Mmm. Mmm. Because my nail shop, on Fridays, they don't open to the afternoon. Yeah. I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. So y'all look. On Fridays they don't open until the afternoon. So I goes in there. Now it ain't but two people in there when I get there, right? So there is three nail techs, but one of them is sick. So that means it's only two. So they're working on the two people that are already there. Well, y'all. Y'all, that's a that's a shame. That's a shame, but I ain't gonna say it. That's a shame. So look, y'all, one working on one person and one working on another person, which I only use one nail tech anyway. So he's finishing up what he's doing. with the client that he has right now. Cause I was a little early for my appointment, maybe about 20 minutes. So I'm just sitting there y'all, and I'm so tired, y'all, I fall asleep. Man, I wake up y'all and the nail shop is packed, packed. All of the stalls where you go and get your pedicures, y'all, is full. Every chair in there is full. Now, keep in mind that I told you it wasn't two people there when I got there. So, I should have been third. Mm. Mm. Do y'all know that I sat there and them folks let me sit there and slept through my appointment? Baby, I was fire hot. I was fire hot. 
and I'm in the building, in the chair. They had already taken me back to the back and set me in the chair. So y'all look, I wake up, and like I said, the nail shop is packed. So I say, I say, so why did you skip me? You know, why did you skip me and I'm right here? Do y'all know this man act like he didn't know I was there to get my nails done? Keep in mind now, I have an appointment. I've got an appointment with him. Do y'all know that he act like he didn't know I had an appointment? Now, Legion, y'all know that I have a nail appointment. And I go get my nails done every seven days. Needless to say, I end up having to sit there, you guys, another two hours waiting on him to get finished with two other people before I got my nails on. I almost changed nail shop today. <laughs> I did. But he had been doing my nails for so long. Baby, I wouldn't be going back. I wouldn't. Anyway, that is something happened to me today. I thought I would share. I thought I would share. Y'all know what? Miss Donald's journey, she been on my mind. I love her channel so much. Miss Donald's journey, she's such a sweetheart. She's from Memphis as well. Mm -mm. Y'all, they big old shrimp. Oh, it's so good. Y'all, another bite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all, these prawns so fresh. They so fresh. Like they just jumped up by the sea over here on this plate. <laughs> mm. Mm. And y'all, this cutie cute sauce. This cutie cute sauce is good. It's delicious. It's delicious. I don't know why that bowl look crazy. Mm. Y'all is late. Mm. Cause we didn't get out live to about what, 9.30, 9.45. And then I still had to cook the food. Baby, a brother's tired again. I guess it'll be another all nighter. But I'm gonna have this video up for you in the morning. <laughs> 9 a.m. Mm. So look, I wanna ask you guys a question. Okay, let's say that you have had a friend for many, many years, right? A good friend. Y'all been friends for a while. For years. You know each other's boundaries. You know it all. You know the family. You know what a person likes and doesn't like. What they're likely to do. What they're likely to do. What they're likely not to do. I mean, you know this person. You're such a. I mean, you're such a good friend with this person. It would be hard for somebody to come up and tell you a lie about them. Okay. Because you know what they're likely to do and not do. You follow me so far. Okay. So. 
What if this friend, Cameron will be hating. Cameron will be hating. What if this friend was doing something to you that you did not like? Or something to you that was causing you pain? What would you do? You don't want to lose a friendship. But the some of the things that they're doing is really, y'all, this here is so good. Baby, this here is good. Mm. But some of the things that they're doing is hurting you. How do you handle that? How do you handle it? I'm going to tell you how I handle it. First off, if they're a friend or a family member, regardless, if you're doing something to me, and I and I, I truly love you, and you're doing something, and I, okay, let me go back. I truly love you, and I don't want to ruin the friendship, the relationship that we have. Y'all, do you know I'm still going to that person? I'm still going to them. And I'm going to say, look, this thing right here that you're doing, this thing right here ain't going to work with me. This thing right here hurts. That way, you give them a conscious decision to make. Whether it's going to be they're going to change what that is, that's when you find out if they care enough about the friendship like you do. Or if they're going to carry on with what they're doing. But look, I'm going to make this thing plain. I'm going to walk it down through there, okay? And let them know, this thing right here that you're doing, this thing right here is hurting me. It's hurting me. And give them a choice to either fix it or I be gone. Do you agree? Do you agree? Because if a person loves you and they care enough about the friendship, as they should, then if you tell them that they're doing something that hurts you, they would change it, right? Don't you think... Oh, excuse me, y'all. Don't you think so? Do any of you guys have friends like that? Just stay kind of crossing the line? Like, they just stay always on the line. But they're a good friend of yours. Mm. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. Mm. Y'all, this shrimp is divine. It's divine. It's so good. I'm going to tell you what. It's so good. I got to get off this camera. But. So I can eat it. The way I want to eat it. For real. So look y'all. For real though. I want you guys to evaluate. Your relationships. With people. Evaluate it. Sit down and really think about how they treat you. Really do. And if you are finding things in your friendship or in your relationship with these people and it ain't right please have enough courage to walk away can you do that for me have enough courage to walk away because if you don't go to people and tell them exactly what's up because a person that truly cares about you if you give them the opportunity to change something that is hurting you they'll do it they will. They will alter what it is that they're doing that's hurting you. And if they don't, they're not your friend anyway. They ain't your friend. Y'all be being is good. Y'all gonna get up out of here. Y'all, that was my first time ever trying those prawns. I don't even know why. That was on my mind. I don't know. But it came up, so I put it out there. <laughs> hey! Y'all, I think I'm trying to get a little cold. I've been coughing and stuff here lately. You know, Fowl is here. We're officially in Fowl, y'all. The weather's a little cooler. So, maybe that's it. From sleeping on the air conditioner. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, y'all better get up out of here.
I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. Y'all, these big old big daddy shrimp. Baby, if you ain't never tried prawns before, get you some prawns, honey. Get you some prawns. Can you see it? Baby, golden brown. That prawn is good. If you never had any prawns, get you some. This is my first time ever trying them, and they are delicious. Like, for real, you would think that seafood, normally the bigger it is, kind of like it has a more of a watery taste where you really don't taste the meat. Baby, I cannot tell you that this is like that because it's not. That thing ain't like that. Like, it is um, better. Like, the meat is more flavorful. It really, really is. I never had prawns before, but they are delicious. And this cutie cute sauce, baby, A1. I love it. <coughs> I love it. It's mayonnaise based. And you guys, if you don't know how to make meatballs, these are Parmesan crusted. These here are. They're crusted with Parmesan. That's why you see like the little white part of it or the lighter part of it. That's that Parmesan cheese. So anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come spend a little time with you. We already had our live. We had a great time. We turned up. We turned up, y'all. We turned up as usual. But I didn't let you get me toe up. I didn't let you do it. You tried. You tried it. You tried it. I didn't let you do it. Because I had to shoot this video. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go. Here I am rambling on again. I know bougie bites. I know bougie bites. I'm rambling on again. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop that. To all of my new legion, thank you so much for being here. I love you all. You guys are so, 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 so welcome. Welcome to the legion. I hope you guys have enjoyed, because I did. I didn't eat that much today, did I? I ate three meatballs. Three prawns. I did eat a lot because I ate some baby shrimp too and my cucumbers. Anyway, I'm here. Yeah, I'm still rambling, y'all. I'm still rambling. I'm finna go. Y'all finna go. I gotta get up out of here. Look, I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are so so special to me. Make sure you evaluate your relationships that you have with people. Make sure that if there's something going on that you don't like or that is hurting you, that you have the courage and the nerve to go to that person as a grown individual and say, This is hurting me. I need for you to stop this. And also have enough courage that if they don't, you walk away. Okay? I love you all so, so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? We're going to get up out of here. In closing, Big B says good night. <laughs> We're going to get up out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember, when obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. My God, my God. I don't even want to eat no more. I'm going to be up all night long. Oh. That is good, 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 good. Those shrimp are excellent. How excellent. How excellent. Well, y'all know what? I know y'all still here. Because I ain't had the camera out. Do you know what? Bougie Bites told me because I ramble on so much at the end that I probably should do, you know, like a little extra part at the end. Kind of like what Casey Connection does as an after party. Of course, we'll have to find something to name our own. But do y'all think that's a good idea? Because mm. it seems like when the video get ready to be over, <coughs> that's when all the ideas go to popping in my head. But for some reason today, it was on my heart to tell you that you need to evaluate your relationships with people. It was in my heart to tell you that today. Mr. Mickey Smith, I certainly hope that you're doing better, sweetheart. I love you so, so, so much. And you guys, I'm going to see y'all next time for real. I'm going to get off this camera and eat the rest of my meatballs. I'm going to get my husband in prawns because baby, they good. Baby, them prawns is good.
They were production. I'm going to see if you want them. Baby. Yeah, I'm yelling. I'm yelling. Really, truly, y'all, I had had a few too many cocktails. I had a few too many cocktails. I had a few cocktails before I came on the live. I really did. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to get these shrimp to production because them prawns is good, for real. They are good. I have never tasted a shrimp that was that good. I want to attack them, but I ain't got but two left. <laughs> y'all finna go. Bye-bye.